Here we are again, everyone. Tim with Tim'sComputerFix.net. Got another computer came in today. This is a older, custom-built computer here, and what he is complaining of is it crashing all the time. Now, actually, what has happened is he says that he has actually had a speaker fall on his computer case, and now it crashes randomly for some reason. Oh, pretty big dent there on the top of that case, I would say. But let's take a quick look here and see if we can spot anything that jumps out. Well, I'll tell you what jumps out at me is the filthy, dirty heat sink. Look at those fins down in there just all caked with the dust. Yeah, that could be an overheating problem. Check to see if this is a stock heat sink. Just checking to be sure it didn't pop out of place. Doesn't appear that it has. Not really. Four sticks of RAM. Hey, that's always four times chances that there's a problem with uh, a memory, maybe. Possibly. Dust. Dust. I see lots of dust. Oh, look. Let's see if I can get a little light on that. Look at that 24 pin down there. You can see it. It doesn't look like it's plugged in all the way. Huh. Well, that might cause a problem. Let's look up here. Oh, look. There's your processor power pin there. Your CPU power power, power header. Look, look how that's just not plugged in there all the way. So a good jolt would... Uh, cause that to me even back out further. So it may not be getting proper power to that processor. Who knows, right? Everything else seems to be in order. It's filthy. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I think what I'm going to do right now is just power it up and see if I can get it to crash and then start going through the process of cleaning this guy up and see if we can eliminate his crashing issues or figure out why it's crashing power supply here i don't know exactly what brand that is because it's placed fa uh fan down i uh, got a little bit of something there i can't really read um uh uh it's a rose wheel it's a rose wheel cheap power supply there so yeah, let me get this plugged in and let's see if we can uh, pinpoint the issue. All right, we're all plugged in. Turn on the power figure out where to turn this thing on oh my gosh that's been crushed pretty good there where do you turn this thing on in here right here where ah see if we can get a post huh well okay shuts off shuts on that's normal We have a post. All right. Let's see what we can find. Please enter setup as an F1 to run setup. Okay, we have a little bit of a turn of events here. So what I've done is a SSD down here. That's the operating system is installed on that operating system. As you saw, uh, it's not loading. So there's a SSD drive down here. Upon powering this computer on, basically it just goes through a startup repair boot loop, is what I call that. So we're going to re-image this machine. So I pulled the SSD out. I have pulled off all his data on my data recovery machine. And I have just put that drive back in here. 
and got the computer kind of cleaned up a little bit better, bloated out. But now let me show everybody what's going on now. Let's flip on that power switch. Got everything hooked up. Let's kick on that power button. So it goes to boot, shuts down, goes to boot, shut down, on and off, on and off. You know, I've also pushed down those uh, connectors that looked a little loose. I pushed those down all the way. This one was really far out, but um, yeah, now we got a whole other issue here. So he's definitely got something going on hardware wise. So we need to troubleshoot this. So where do we start with something like this? Well, let's see. I think I might start with the memory. And maybe we'll just narrow down those sticks there to see if I can uh, get it to change what it's doing. See if we can narrow this down, okay? So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to shut the computer down. That's all going to be shut off now. I'll press the power button just to drain the capacitors. And uh, let's just take out a couple of these RAM sticks. One here. And one here. Pop those out. DDR3 RAM. So this unit is several years old, obviously. I'm going to power back on. I'm going to press the power button here. See what we got. Power cycling. Power cycling. Hmm. Not good. You know, I'm going to try to basically clear the CMOS. Yeah, you know, didn't really get a change and I'm not really convinced as RAM. So let's, uh, let's clear the CMOS and see if that changes anything. I've just now turned the power off. I'm going to hold the power button down, drain capacitors. Let's see what we got here. Where's our clear CMOS? Okay. So there's the battery, and over here is the clear CMOS jumper. So let me get a plastic, something plastic here. I'll pop the battery. Yeah. Okay, and let's move this jumper over one and just give it just a couple few seconds there. And let's put it back. And let's put the battery back. And let's see if it changes anything. I'm going to get a power. I'm going to press the power button. Oh. Try that again. It's dead. Wow. Now it has completely died. How about that? Whoa. Wonder. Wonder if we have a power supply issue here once again. I'm trying to see what. Oh, look at there. This looks like a Rosewell power supply. You know what? Let me set up my test power supply unit and let's see if we can get this to fire up. Okay, here we go. Got my test power supply out. This is a known good power supply. This is a server grade power supply here. And then around this big jumbled wiry mess, I have plugged in the test power supply CPU socket. I have swapped out the 24 pin with the one for my test power supply and i have i'm using the vga cables from my test power supply now plugged into that 
So now we're going to find out. That's all we need to do to test this. Uh, just to at least find out if we get a post. Don't need to plug the drives and all that stuff. Fans don't need to do any of that. I'm going to give it some power here. Okay. And uh, got everything else plugged in yet, Mario? Let's see if we get any power now. This will be interesting because last time we did not. No power. I think this motherboard has just died. It's not looking good, everybody. So, it is not the power supply. Hey, look, I do get a little power light down here. What if I press that? Nothing. Nope. This is not looking good. This is looking like his motherboard is dead. But, <clears throat> I'm going to pull components. I'm going to pull components just to see and to test that theory. All right, so here's what I've done. I've left the test power supply in just in case. Pull the video card, pull all the RAM. I've disconnected everything off the front panel headers except for these. Uh, actually, I could probably pull those too, but let's see, let me pull those. I'll pull those. All right, so everything is disconnected. All the drives are disconnected. Just got the CPU power and got the 24 pin power connected and uh, everything else is gone. So let me plug this in, give it some power. All right, that's plugged in. There's a little power light. I've got a power light here. Press the power button. We have nothing. This is a dead board. So unfortunately, he's not going to be able to He's going to have to cut his ties with, I would say, probably this computer. He's probably got his nickels worth out of it. Several years old. I'm trying to unplug this power supply real quick. There we go. Yep, so, uh, yeah. So, we'll see if I can talk with him about maybe, maybe he might want me to build him another computer. That'd be nice. Um, this one has seen its day. It's gone. Uh, there's nothing else to troubleshoot. Um, most likely his processor is okay. Most likely. Most likely his video card is okay. Most likely. I think his board finally just said goodbye. So anyways, uh, this is a real quick way how I troubleshoot a computer that comes in with problems. Unfortunately, this ended drastically. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.